hi so welcome back so in this video we are going to program our uh, voting smart contract and uh, we will have different functions or like vote or add candidate or getting all the uh, votes of a certain candidate and then we are also going to uh, define the <coughs> current status of the voting uh, mechanism like it's either it's open or closed or what is the remaining time so first of all let's start a node project npm init and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, copy and paste instead of uh, copy instead of installing everything individually I'm going to copy and paste this uh, dependencies here so after license I'm just going to copy and paste dependencies and I'm just going to do npm install so it's going to install all the dependencies let's wait for it Okay, so it's almost finished so okay <clears throat> so it's finished so uh, we are going to first start npx hard hat we are going to start a hard hat create javascript voting okay our project is started and now we have instead of this we are going to create uh, voting dot soul and we are uh, we will start writing our um, code so first of all spdx dash license identifier mit so it doesn't give us the error uh, and pragma solidity this is just to define the version of the solidity we are going to use then we have our contract voting and in this contract first of all we need to define a struct which is candidate and how we are going to represent it I it has a name sorry string name and it has you int 256 vote count so we are going to define a struct where a candidate has a name and the vote count we can also add other things but for right now let's keep it simple and now if we want to create an array of the struct what we can do is simply uh, write the struct name candidate then put array and public and candidates candy candidates okay and then we are going to define an address owner who will be the owner of the smart contract and then we can define mapping where uh, we are going to sh say which address has already voted so it's bool so for uh, every address uh, we have a bool either true or false that this man or this uh, this person has already voted so we are going to keep track of it and then we have you in 256 of public voting start so this is the start time of voting and similarly voting end and then we have constructor it's a function and it's going to take a string array which is candidate names uh, and then it is going to take the amount of time we want to keep this voting open and then we can say duration duration in minutes and what we are going to do is we are going to 
create a for loop where u in 256 of i is equals to 0 i is less than underscore candidate names dot length and i plus plus we are just going to push all these candidates in the candidates array candidates dot push candidate uh, and then we are going to say uh, name underscore candidate name of i and the vote count is zero because we are just starting with a zero vote count uh, okay so our vote count is zero now and okay so it's giving us error here what is the error uh, okay mm -hmm. vote count is zero um, I think it's a syntax error and let's like I think we are going to close it expected this oh oh this is the error okay and now since we have put all these names here so what we can do is we can okay this is the for loop and then we can say honor is equals to message dot sender voting start is equals to block dot timestamp and voting end is equals to block dot timestamp plus we can uh, this, we are inputting duration in minutes and we can multiply it with one minutes so when we are going to give this let's say 60 16 to 1 means 60 minutes so basically um, that the voting duration will be one hour so this is our constructor now we are going to create a modifier only owner it means that only owner can run this required function where we are going to put the only owner message dot sender is equals to owner and the syntax says we have to put underscore and now um, we have created our um, function modifier only owner so let's create our first function where we are going to add a candidate and we need to because the vote count will always be zero so we, we just need to specify the name string memory underscore name and the function is public uh, first of all we need to see two conditions no so okay so this function is the instead of putting the conditions we can put only owner so only owner can call this function and uh, we are going to say candidates this array dot push candidate and name is underscore name and vote count is zero so that's how we are going to do it this add candidate function is written now we are going to create a function vote where we are going to give the index of the candidate uh, whom we want to vote so the index can be represented as 256 underscore candidate index and this function is public and we are not going to put the modifier only owner here because anyone can vote uh, well there is something we can create an array and we can define the allowed addresses like who can vote but it will take 
like um, you know it's going to prolong this video but i don't want it and let's say like any public entity with the metamask uh, address they can actually uh, call this vote function and give the vote to the candidate so we need different conditions the first condition is okay sorry voters we have we have our mapping of voters so voters message dot sender otherwise you have already voted so basically it's saying that if this is true then we are going to say you have already voted and we are going to give another underscore candidate index should be less than candidates dot length and we are going to say invalid candidate index or the candidate doesn't exist and then we are going to say candidates of underscore candidate index dot vote count plus plus and we are going to assign voters of message dot sender is equals to true so basically what we are doing is we are first checking if the voter has al uh, has already voted or not or if the candidate index is right and then we are going to increase the vote count by one and we are setting voters of message dot sender is equals to true it means that once the voter has already voted uh, he or she cannot vote again and then we have a function get all votes of candidates and we can say public view returns it is going to return us the struct array candidate this is the struct array and we are going to store it in memory uh, and we are going to return this array because it's a struct array we are going to return this array and once this array is returned it's a tuple where it is going to give us all the information of the candidates and uh, now we have uh, created these functions let's create get voting status it's a function and it's it, it is going to return if the voting returns bool why because it's going to tell if the voting is still open or close and we can just return we can say block dot timestamp is greater than equals to voting start and there is another condition that the voting time the block dot timestamp must not be greater than the voting end so this is our voting status and finally we have our last function get remaining time and it's going to give us the remaining time in seconds public view returns u int 256 okay and this is a this is our function first of all we need to mention that the block dot time stamp should be greater than equals to voting start otherwise we are going to give error voting has not started yet and then we are going to see if block dot time stamp is greater than equals to voting and return zero otherwise return voting and minus block dot timestamp 
so our smart contract is ready first of all we have defined candidates and then we have created array this is the owner and these are the voters who are going to vote and in the constructor we are pushing all those candidates in this array and then we are defining the start and end time and then we have defined only owner that only owner can run the function and then we have add candidate function vote function get all votes of candidates function voting status and get remaining time so our smart contract is almost ready so now let's move toward uh, the front end so thank you